Hey Theory Scholars, this is Dr. Thomas with a quick review of how to find the normal order of a pitch class set using a clock face. So we're going to run down a few examples here. So first off, I have four pitches E flat, F sharp, A, F. We put them on to the clock face, E flat, F sharp, A, and F. Then you find the largest interval between two adjacent pitches, which is between this nine and this three. And then we just read it clockwise. So our normal order for this is three, five, six, nine. And don't forget to put these little curly brackets. Uh, we use the Clendenning Marvin here, and so that's what we use for our normal order. So let's say we have this one, A, F, C sharp, and D. All right, this one's a little tricky because here when we look for the largest interval between two adjacent pitches, we notice we have the same interval here and here. So we could start here either on the nine or on the one. When we're presented with this problem, we want to look at the next interval in the sequence and find the smallest interval. So if we start on the nine, we have this large interval to our one. But if we start on the one, we have this half step right here. So we want to read it kind of from this one and go down, All right? So this is gonna be our largest interval here. And so our normal order for this set is one, two, five, nine. And our last example is, well, what if you have this awesome fish class set, which is B flat, F sharp, and D. What do we notice about this? It's symmetrical, right? All of the intervals are the same. So when we're presented with a situation like this, we want to just order it with the lowest integer first. So we'll start on the two and read it that way. And so here again, reading clock clockwise, we get two, six, and T as our normal order for this pitch class set. Hopefully this is helpful, and I'll be back with some more videos. Bye.